chapter of direct indirect proportion, let's take a look at checkpoint 7.1 part A. Now, if y is direct proportional to x, okay, and y equals to 6 when x equals to 2, let's go through how do we express y in terms of x. Okay, direct proportion means y equals to kx, right? So I'll sub in my value 6k2, you bring over divide k equals to 3. So therefore, y equals to 3x. Okay? Then for part 2, find the value of y when x is 11. So this is quite simple. You have 33. Right? Again, find the value of x when y is 12. 12. Okay, so x equals to 4. Then, they are asking to draw the graph of y against x. Okay, you see, uh, whatever they are doing here is actually a leading question. So, y and x, right? Okay, it's direct proportional. So, you know that it's going upwards. Okay, let's say example, I have 2, 6 here. Okay, find the value of y when x is 11. So, when x, okay, it's way higher, right? Example. And then, for example, if let's say I have x is 4, y is 12. So, you realize that this keeps going upwards. Okay, so when x equals to 0, y equals to 3, 0 as well. So, 0. So what does this tell you? It tells you that the curve will cut, cut at its zero, zero axis. Okay, like that. Can see? Okay, and that there is no y intercept. Or even even better, you know this application. Okay, of y equals to mx plus c. So you know that really that there is no y intercept. Okay, either one would work. Now, for question 5, if t is directly proportional to the cube root of s, find, uh, and t equals to 4, s equals 64, find the value of n. Okay. Okay, so I actually did some amendment because the, the question was a little bit error. So let's take a look at this particular question. If t is directly proportional to the cube root of s, okay, so t equals to k, directly proportional means k times, uh, cube root of s. Let's sub the values in, you have 4, k, cube root of s, you have 64. Now, cube root of 64 would actually draw you a 4. Okay, so 4k equals to 4k equals to 1. Right? So they're asking you to find the value of t when s is 1, 2, 5. So you know that this is cube root s. Okay, so s is 1, 2, 5. t equals to cube root 1, 2, 5. So you should be having a 5 as your answer over here. Okay, then for part 2, find the value of s when t equals to 2. Okay, so therefore you have cube root s, okay, t equals to cube root s. So therefore cube root means you need to cube the other side, right? So therefore you have s, s equals to 8, okay?